Honestly, that's the worst thing about going on vacation. So, I wanted to tell you guys that I grew out drunk in the morning. Can you tell me why? Hey, This is the sequel. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to a new video. Cheers to that. So, I just got back from the cabin with my boyfriend and his family and we had such a great relaxing time and I took the week almost completely off. I just did like a couple of things for YouTube because I just had to like upload some thumbnails and finish editing something. But other than that, I wasn't really focused on filming or anything like that. I filmed one, which was like the road trip in a tiny bit. It's probably like the last vlog that I posted, but yeah, I'm officially back now. So I just wanted to come on here and just like talk to you guys because I put out a little community like post saying that I'm not gonna be posting at all this week which is last week when you're watching this video but it was like my first time not posting for a week straight in like six months which is crazy so that was like a big thing for me to decide on and I'm like you know I think it's a healthy break and that's totally fine and we're coming back better and stronger I was thinking a lot and I decided to follow my intuition and my gut and I decided on posting two times a week now instead of three times a week the reason why is because so two out of the three videos was the vlogs and then the one video was a sit down video and as much as i love doing the sit down videos and everything it's like i don't want them to start to feel forced because there's some weeks where i have to like think of a topic and kind of force it because i need that video if that makes sense and it was feeling a bit forced and i don't want things to get too repetitive i felt like they were getting a little repetitive and so i'm gonna incorporate more moments with michaela in my vlogs i'm gonna make sure to try to do one every single vlog that i post but in terms of like my sit down videos, I'm still gonna do them, just not every single week. It's just gonna depend the week and it's just gonna depend if I, I'm fired up about a topic that one week. But as for now, I'm just gonna be posting my two vlogs a week and then whenever I feel very inspired and I really wanna talk to the camera and just make a huge sit down video, like full sit down video, then that's when I'm gonna be posting them. So that's just making sure that nothing is forced and that I'm staying true to myself and true to my content and like doing what makes me happy. But yeah, I just think that a huge part in my journey is just learning along the way, learning what works for me. And right now this is just what I'm feeling and this is what I'm going to do because I want my videos to be have my 100% effort and be 100% authentic. I never really want to fake anything. I don't want anything to be forced. I just want to make sure that I love everything that I post and I'm not pulling a video out of my ass. I'm more about quality content rather than quantity. So yeah, I know you guys will understand and still love and support me Yeah, just always make sure to stay true to what you're feeling in the moment and some people might think that going from posting three videos to two videos a week is taking a step back but i think that for myself and my journey it's actually taking two steps forward because i'm listening to my intuition and i'm making sure that i'm going to be putting quality videos out there that um, are meaningful to me and that are not forced and that i truly want to put out so i think that this is a step in the right direction <laughs> Okay guys, I got my iced coffee. It's currently 2.57. I got my luggage here with all my shit in it that I need to unpack. Honestly, that's the worst thing about going on vacation is the unpacking. I literally dread it so much, but I'm just gonna do it so that I don't delay it because we just got back yesterday. If I don't do it now, I'm not gonna ever do it. Like it, this luggage is gonna be sitting in my room for months. So I just gotta tackle it. A lot of the stuff needs to go to the wash anyway, so it's gonna be pretty easy. So we're good, let's do this. Okay, I changed because I just wanted to wear sweatpants and I also finished unpacking. It's currently 3.30. I did that in half an hour and I thought it was going to take me so much longer for some reason, but it didn't even take me that long. So I'm so happy this is done. I'm going to go put this back downstairs in the storage closet. I just feel so accomplished doing that because I usually procrastinate unpacking. I could procrastinate that for like literally like weeks. Like it's bad. So I'm so happy I just got this done and I'm probably going to do my laundry in a couple of days just because I just want to film my bin.
in before. I was just listening to Emma Chamberlain's podcast. It's the episode called Rock Bottom and you guys should give it a listen. It is so good. She talks about like finding your passions and your hobbies and how important that is to put your energy into things that you get excited about waking up about. And she was saying how like if you don't have something to focus on and put your energy towards that you love, then you're going to start, it's going to start like spiraling inside. And she was saying that like humans are problem solvers and when you don't have problems to solve you're gonna make problems for yourself like on the inside and it just makes so much sense and it was such a good such a good episode so while we were away we ate so unhealthy like literally pillsbury doughboy was me like i was pillsbury doughboy we ate that unhealthy and it just motivated me to get back on my health kick for real this time so i meal prepped i have a few recipes on here that i'm going to do for the rest of the week tomorrow we're going to go grocery shopping to get everything for them stock the fridge so that i can make some nice dinners um i'm excited it gets me excited to eat healthy healthy and give my body the nutrition that it needs because it hasn't been getting literally any nutrition this past week. So I'm really excited to get back on my health kit. It has to happen. I believe that you can heal yourself like internally like by what you eat because what you eat has so much to do with how you feel, your energy levels, your mood. And with me personally, I noticed a huge difference in all aspects of my life with my diet. Obviously it's okay to indulge sometimes, everything in moderation, but for the most part, I do need to start really eating healthy and getting good dinners in nutritional dinners nutritional meals so this starts tomorrow <laughs> not now tomorrow because we're gonna go grocery shopping tomorrow so it starts tomorrow so what i also did is i filled one of these like vitamin things up with vitamins for the pm and the am so that i remember to get all my vitamins in because i find that if i don't have something like this then i'm gonna neglect vitamins and forget to take them so this is gonna hold me accountable and i know this is like a really granny thing to have but honestly it's how to stay on track with all your vitamins like it's actually so beneficial like i feel like granny with this but it really works hey guys so it's currently 6 50 and i'm current and i'm currently on the way to the gym joel's just driving because he needs the car to do some errands while i'm at the gym i'm gonna meet julia there so we're gonna do a good workout together i haven't gone to the gym in over a week because we were like on vacation so this is gonna be a rough go but it'll be fine we're good I just got back home from the gym i totally forgot to vlog at the gym like usually i show like my little montage of my workout but i like totally forgot to but anyways i'm just out enjoying the night right now um the moon is so freaking cool joel dropped off our camp me and julia's disposable cameras to get developed so we're gonna get the photos and i'm so excited to see them it's like such a cool surprise i don't know it's just so exciting um so i'm so excited so i wanted to tell you guys that i have quit tiktok and what i mean by quit tiktok is like i quit with watching TikToks because it feels like a waste of my time and the more I go on my phone and watch TikTok or just on my phone in general during the day the more that I like feel the about it and less productive and I have decided I've made the decision to stop watching TikTok and even before bed I would scroll through TikTok but now I'm just gonna make a rule that I want to do more reading I'm gonna read before bed and not even touch my phone and I feel like it'll just be a lot healthier and I'll go to bed earlier um I just got some new books so i'll show you guys when i get inside i'm so excited to read them but yeah because i found that tiktok was kind of like it sounds dumb but it was kind of like a roadblock and it was just like distracting me and it's like i can't be always looking at my freaking phone and scrolling like i need to be looking elsewhere and if the time wasn't dedicated to tiktok like what else could i be doing and that has been like resonating with me like if i wasn't scrolling through tiktok for an hour i could have been doing something more productive and that like gets me kind of angry because it doesn't make me feel fulfilled and I feel so much better not going on it. Yeah, I'm still gonna maybe post a video now and then if I want to, but I'm not, it's not gonna be something that I'm gonna do, like look through constantly and be addicted to. The sensor light just went off, so that's why the lighting changed. But yeah, so I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that um, focus on what makes you feel the best. And if you need to make changes in your life, make sure you're listening to yourself, your body and make the changes necessary. Don't make excuses because you control your life. You control your freaking life. That's the secret, is you control everything. You control your thoughts, you control whether you wanna be happy. It's all in your control and in your thoughts, in your mind. Anyways, I'm gonna go inside now, eat, shower, and watch The Bachelor in Paradise, but I'll talk to you guys later. 
Oh, that was such a good freaking workout. Like, I feel so good. Hey guys, so me and Joel are just about to go grocery shopping. We're going to like this big grocery store that's kind of like 15, 20 minutes away from my house. We're venturing out because they have like way better prices. It's so much bigger. They have literally everything. So we're going there instead of my local grocery store because it's going to be like literally probably triple the price for everything. So we're going to Superstore if you guys know what that is. But anyways, this morning, okay, we're at Starbucks right now and I'm going to explain why. This morning, I went to go make myself a smoothie and I found pineapple in the fridge and I was like I was gonna use a frozen pineapple but Joel had just finished it so I look in the fridge and I was like oh there's pineapple in here and it was like in the container so I was like oh might as well just use this I open it and I'm like it looked the color was fine and I didn't smell it so I didn't expect it to be old so I cut two pieces and I put it in my smoothie made my smoothie and then I like smelt my smoothie and I'm like why does it smell like wine and then like I drank a bit and I was like Ugh like this tastes disgusting so then i go to the pineapple and i smell it and it literally smells like wine it smells like fermented pineapple and i'm like are you kidding me because it wasn't like moldy or brown like it didn't look bad you could have gotten drunk from it. i know i was <laughs> i could have gotten drunk it's not a bad that's thing that's what they do in prison i know that's what i was telling lucas yeah that's, what, that's exactly what lucas said he's like you could have gotten drunk in the morning accidentally like imagine that got me drunk wouldn't that get me sick too though well it probably doesn't taste good it was disgusting yeah and anyway, so I wasted it. Unfortunately, I had to waste that smoothie, put it down the drain because that was just really disgusting. And I had a piece of bread instead because I didn't want to make another smoothie. I'm like, <laughs> I'm done. But now we're at Starbucks and I'm going to get a Starbucks because that was a bit of a shitty start to my morning. So we're going to, I'm going to treat myself to Starbucks because when something happens like that, you got to treat yourself to make yourself feel better. <laughs> and it sounds like weird, but Starbucks will make me feel better. <laughs> So that's what we're doing. Anyways, I'm probably gonna get an iced caramel macchiato. Are you gonna get anything? Might get a regular coffee. Oh my god, this actually smells good. Okay, if anybody knows how these air fresheners work, let me know because this has been in my car for like months now and I haven't smelt it at all. Like, is it supposed to, like, how is it supposed to dispense the. Am I supposed to pour it in something? Oh, wait, what happens when you pour it? Hold on, let me see something. I think what you're literally supposed to do is this thing is just to hang it and you're supposed to just keep it open. It doesn't spill. But that's kind of a shitty car air freshener then. So it's, it's like this is supposed to hang on my thing. Where else am I supposed to put this? Well, I think it, maybe it's supposed to slowly leak out of this thing, but it just. Yeah, whatever. If, but if you guys know, if you guys have one of those, which you probably don't. If, but if you do, let me know. Let help a girl out. My, see, this is why I hate these things in the middle. Like, I literally have a rosary that my mom. No. No, I just have to put it perfectly up, Joel. It's broken. Oh, oh my god, it's broken. My mom got this rosary blessed. That's gotta be bad luck. My mom got this rosary blessed and she put it in my car and I didn't even know it broke. Maybe I did, but then I just like wrapped it around a long time ago, but I don't remember. Anyways, let's go get Starbucks because- We deserve it. Yes, especially after my smoothie incident. See, this is like, it always makes me so mad. I'm sorry if you guys have never noticed this and are just noticing it because I'm pointing it out, but this always makes me so freaking mad in the Why videos. Why don't we just take it off? Yeah, I don't even know. It's because this was there and Anyways, let's go. <laughs> okay, Starbucks review. Got the iced caramel macchiato. This is like my go-to with oat milk um, because this only has two espresso shots in it. And I never knew this, but I used to order the brown chicken espresso and that has three espresso shots in it. And I always wondered why I felt so jittery after that one. It's because it has three espresso shots in it. So I like to stick to the one that has two and this is just literally just always hits the spot. Cheers, Joel, how's yours? Good, just coffee though. Boring. Actually, that was like half the price of this, so. All right, let's go to Superstore. Okay, let's rock and roll. Hey guys, so it's a lot later. It's currently 7.37 and I just finished making dinner. I made butternut squash risotto. I'll insert some pictures right here. It was so good. Me and Julia want to go to the gym, but Joel has my car right now because he's mountain biking. So I'm kind of just waiting on him to come back and then hopefully we can make it to the gym if he gets home on time. But yeah, I was just working today and then I cooked, so nothing really special, but I'm excited to get back on eating healthy and just nutritious, good dinners and meals and i love like making different things experimenting it's fun making different things i think right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna watch some youtube because i haven't watched youtube in so long one of my favorite youtubers is hitomi machizuki machizuki sorry if i botched that but she's like a spiritual 
YouTuber, I would call her, and she just like has really wholesome content, has a calming persona. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later though, because I'm gonna I'm gonna binge a little bit right now. What a great girlfriend I what am. What is it? I have to be promoted. You need too much of that. This is enough for about a, maybe a ladybug. <laughs> what? Is what? it good? <laughs> Did he throw up? Yeah, I need to scratch. Okay, so I'm aware that I look like a hermit right now. But I told you guys that I would show you the books that I got. So I'm going to do that before I end this vlog off. So this is the sequel. It's called The Summer I Turn Pretty. I got the full three books. And then the second one is It's Not Summer Without You. And the third one is We'll Always Have Summer. And it's by Jenny Han. Got the three books. And I just started this one. It's good so far. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated when I finish. But yeah, like I said, I really just want to get into reading more instead of being on my phone. Because it's just like feels more productive. It makes me feel better. And it's all around like your brain is working rather than scrolling through social media. It's just kind of like almost could be toxic sometimes. So I'm becoming a reader. Next thing I want to show you guys, a sweet subscriber of mine has her own little business. And so she sent me a little package and I wanted to shout it out. So her website is called Novel Wix and she sells candles. So go check her out, you guys. She's on Etsy. And look at how freaking cute it is. Do you guys literally see that shimmer? It's unbelievable. I haven't burned it yet because it looks too pretty to burn almost. Like I don't even want to touch it. So thank you so much, Murphy, for sending me this. This was so sweet of you. I cannot wait to burn it and use it. Go check out her site. She gave me a coupon code that is Michaela10. And you guys can get 10% off if you shop her site. So I will link it down below. So go check her out. I love supporting small businesses. So if you guys have a small business or anything, um, just let me know and I would love to promote it for you guys. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Stay tuned for my next one. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Yeah, I love you guys as always and I'm always sending you guys positive vibes. See you guys in my next one. Do you remember? It wasn't all that long ago, remember? I was in your driveway in November. We ain't even make it through December. Now you won't even let me befriend ya. Now my sister checking for ya on the regular. By the sound of it, your man's is a regular fan. Regular fan. I know that you know we had it better. I know you.